Hello everyone, I'm Corey Simeone. Welcome. I'm a private history educator and today we're going to be talking about the Battle of the Bulge. This battle took place in the densely forested Ardennes mountain region of Wallonia, which is situated in Belgium, France and Luxembourg on the Western Front. It got its name because of the shape of the front lines between the Americans or the Allies and the Germans. It was shaped like a large bulge. It happened on December 16th, 1944 through January 25th, 1945 in the winter time. It was very cold. Troops on both sides were poorly supplied, did not have enough food, did not have enough ammunition. Uh, they could not start fires either because of course, if your enemy sees where you are, he can better shoot you. Most of the American troops that were involved were very poorly supplied, had uh, very little food, not enough ammunition, not enough warm clothes. The Germans hoped to split the British and American forces in half in order to encircle the four allied armies in the area, hopefully forcing them, the Western powers, to negotiate a peace treaty that would be favorable to the Axis uh, powers. The strengths of both armies were relatively equal with the uh, advantage leaning towards the Allies. The Allies had approximately 840,000 men, 1,300 tanks, and 394 artillery guns. The Axis had around 500,000 men, 1,800 tanks, and 1,900 artillery guns. The casualties of this battle were relatively high on both sides. On the US side, there were 19,000 servicemen killed, 47,500 wounded, 23,000 captured or missing. And the British had 200 killed, as, tw as well as 1,200 wounded or missing. On the Axis side, they had between 67,000 and 100,000 killed, wounded, or missing. Approximately 3,000 civilians were also killed during this engagement. This battle is important because it was the last major battle between uh, the Germans and the Allies on the Western Front. After this, the advantage was much more with the Allies. They broke through the lines and on their way to Berlin, to the capture of Berlin and the ending of the war. And now for today's food for thought. As I mentioned previously, the troops in this battle were very poorly supplied. They did not have enough warm clothing, enough ammunition, sometimes enough food. How do you think this battle would have been different if they had been better supplied? Do you think possibly the casualty rates would have been significantly lower or not? Food for thought. I'm Corey Simeone. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please click on the links. Be sure to subscribe to stay current with our new videos. And if you don't see a topic covered that you'd like to learn about, please send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.